Hey guys, has your post-Halloween depression set in yet? Well, it shouldn't, because this is the house of masks where every day is Halloween and you know we're going to keep unboxing and reviewing cool stuff almost every day, as well as just doing the coolest possible sh So, let's get right on into it. Happy November. Welcome to the unboxing. That is right, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks where we're about to repeat our intro. We unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day and today is no different. It doesn't matter if October is over, we are still up in here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and repeat ourselves for probably the 400th time this year. 2022 is the year of the House of Masks. Crazy experience after crazy experience to crazy unboxing after crazy crazy unboxing, we just can't slow down. Can't stop, won't stop, and today is yet another example of that because in this package, I've got something wild to show you guys. Another crazy score that just happened to fall into my lap out of nowhere with kind of a weird story behind it. So let's go ahead and get on into the box and see exactly what we've got. And as we pull this thing out, I will explain a little bit about what is going on. We've got stickers falling out of the box already. That is, of course, a perfect ugly sticker. So you guys should probably know who sent this package to us. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at what is inside. I will give you guys the first look. Are you ready? What we have here is a real 0.5 clown mask. That means that this comes directly from the real 0.5 clown mold and from the real 0.5 clown artist. It is finished in the same manner that clown would have received a lot of his masks for that cycle. He received them in this weird white and red paint job as well as solid black paint jobs. And then he would customize them however he saw fit for that day. Now for those of you guys that don't know, clown had a really cool running theme with these masks for the gray chapter cycle where he would take basically the same mask and he would decorate a new copy of it every single night for every single show. The fight, the fuck, the hate, the love, it all goes into the making of a mask. As of the last three days, I feel like nothing, so nothing is exactly what you get, void of all color. Might as well be fucking space because that's pretty much where I feel I'm at right now. That way we never really saw a repeat mask. We saw a lot that were pretty similar, but we didn't see any exact repeats of that mask. And I think that that's super, super cool. Very artsy, very Slipknot. I dig it. And what we have here is essentially just the blank white variant of what Clown would receive from the artist. So as I mentioned, this did come from the real mold and it does have kind of a weird story behind it. But before I get on into that story, I'd like to take a look in real life for myself. So here we go. Absolutely love it. I really, really love this version. I love how it looks the way it is. I do believe the clown wore one just like this for at least a photo. And it's just creepy. I think less is more when it comes to something like this. So something as subtle as this variant is fucking sick. Very ghostly, very almost Jokerish, and for a really dumb sculpt, it is a pretty cool mask, I've got to admit. A lot of the versions that Clown did were misses, but a lot of them were makes, and this makes my fourth real copy, because yes, I do have one of the black versions that is unfinished straight from the maker, and I also have two very special worn versions, one being stage used by Clown, the other being video slash promo worn for Clown, and stage used by his son Simon. I will grab all of those here in just a second to show them all together, but for right now, we need to talk a little bit about this deal because again, it just kind of fell into my lap. I was sitting on Instagram one night when I got a message from a fellow collector and he said, hey, do you want to buy this? And I said, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I threw him out an offer, he accepted, now we have it here. But the version that I actually paid for was not this version. I actually got one that was from a slightly different mold. I think that there were probably quite a few different masters made from the original sculpt. Because if you don't know, molds break down after time. With each pool, they lose a little more detail. So I'm sure that there had to be quite a few molds to run as many masks as Clown had for the Grey Chapter cycle. And one of those molds must have been from a retooled sculpt. 
sculpt because the nose has a lot more definition and a slightly different shape and there are some actual sculpted lines over here on the side of the smile. So the version that I actually bought and paid for was this version, but my buddy Perfect Ugly, aka Paul J. Vick, was like, yo, I really like yours, what do you think of mine? I personally liked this one better, it seemed to be in better shape, and this mold matches the rest of the clowns that I do own. So in just a second, I'll go grab those and show you exactly what I mean by that, but you can clearly see the difference in these two masks. This is the one that I paid for and traded to Paul, and obviously this is the one that I received. I almost regret that decision now because it would have been cool to have one from a different mold, but at the same time, I'm really into symmetry and matching, so I'm not upset about it. This thing is in absolutely mint condition. I definitely like the paint job better on this, and again, I like matching, so this one matching all of the other clowns is really cool, and I will show you what I mean by that in just a second. Let me go grab these other masks. All right, so here they are all together. And yes, I know earlier I said that I have four copies and I kind of explained a version that you guys haven't seen yet, but since I haven't done a video specifically on that piece and given it a true reveal here on the channel or here in the collection, I'm going to leave it out. These three copies get my point across very, very well. And I think that this is all we need for right now. So obviously this is the one that we unboxed today. This one has a white and red finish, which as I mentioned earlier, is one of the ways that Clown would receive these blanks. This was my first ever real 0.5 The Grey Chapter Clown copy, and this one actually did come directly from the artist that made these for Clown. He asked me how I wanted it finished, and we were going to actually go with like a replica paint job, but then I realized it's not really original because Clown wouldn't be the one doing the paint job like on the real masks. So I told him to just finish it out however Clown would receive them. Apparently they were doing black copies at that time because that is what I got. Now clearly you can see that both of these are very small. They have have very minimal details. They are definitely from the same mold. And then over here on the side from the same mold, yet again, we have my stage used 0.5 the gray chapter. This one is a lot thinner. And I wouldn't really say that that is from being used because obviously this thing was only used for one night. So it was like in action for maybe two hours that wouldn't really wear down or break down the mask too much. I just think that these things got rushed so quickly that they were just pouring latex, doing pools, pouring latex, doing pools. They weren't really working worried about the quality or the thickness. They were just trying to get casts out in bulk to Sean. Another reason that I say that is because all of these are different thicknesses, although these are very similar. This one's extremely thin, and the fourth copy that you guys have not seen yet is super, super thick. Like super, super thick. Crazy, stupid thick. Thick with two C's. It was actually so thick that it's the only copy that I have that has a giant slit up the back so Clown could put his head into it. That's what she said. <laughs> And I also think that that's one of the reasons that we maybe never saw him wear this live. We only saw it for a promo, and then we saw his son wearing it on stage after a show. I think that it might have just been so thick that it was too uncomfortable and too tight for him to wear. Regardless, I did just want to kind of show these things off together, and after we do that fourth clown, and I have a video specifically on it, and it's out in the public, I will make sure to do a combined video on all these guys, just kind of do like my real 0.5 The Grey Chapter Clown Mask Collection video, because really these these are super special to me for a multitude of reasons. I know that the mask itself is kind of silly and was definitely one of the most like hated Slipknot masks of all time there for a while because it really is just kind of a potato. But all in all, the mask is just super special to me. Not only was it my first ever stage used Slipknot mask, which is clearly the end all be all, but it was also my first real mold Slipknot mask that wasn't a store bought mask. So this 0.5 The Grey Chapter was the first artist copy mask that I ever got that had anything to do with Slipknot, and I'm not talking about like vintage Ghost Glows, vintage West G's, FN Jester, stuff like that. I'm talking about something that was made specifically for the band. On top of that, I just really love the message that Clown had with these masks. There's nothing more Slipknot to me than going full on art mode and doing something crazy and different every single night. We saw Sid Wilson do it with his face paints back in the self-titled in Iowa days. We saw Joey Jordison constantly changing his mask masks around during self-titled in Iowa. And then obviously Clown did it during 0.5 The Grey Chapter and there were a lot of really cool looking masks in that cycle, but we still see people doing it to this day. Corey Taylor just did something similar with the We Are Not Your Kind mask, changing his face paints underneath the mask every single night. There's something really tribal-esque and very, very cool about that sort of experimentalness. Is experimentalness a word? I don't know. But I just really, really dig it. So as goofy as the 0.5 Clown is, I couldn't 
couldn't be happier to have these guys, and I definitely couldn't be happier to have this version. So, a big thank you to Paul J. Vic and the other party that were involved with me acquiring this. I definitely appreciate it, and I'm looking forward to seeing all of these guys displayed together on a proper display whenever I finally recover from Pale Fest and can build some sort of really nice looking display spot for them. So with all that being said, we are going to go ahead and end this video the same way that we end all of the rest of the unboxings on this channel with some nice up close video of this guy so that you guys can see all of the beautiful beautiful detail. Not much detail to see here, but you get what I'm saying. And that will be that. So thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. I truly hope that you have enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and leave me a like down below. That definitely lets me know that you're digging what you see and it helps the channel out. So until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to real mold clown masks. And we'll see you guys in the next one.